20 and 480 for one understudy. Now they're being locked away, last them locked away in fact for the running of race number eight, a field of seven to contest. We're all set for a start, ready and away. Pinging the lids, Velocity Cleo leads from Sugar Freak early as they go into the back straight. Then came Crackerjack Lock. Further back then was over on the outside, Barefoot Rebel from Understudy. And the last pair of Shims Heart, Myola Queen, down the back. And Sugar Freak's taken over from Velocity Cleo second around the outside. Then came Barefoot Rebel running on well. And then came Understudy off the back. And it's Sugar Freak in front trying hard. Barefoot Rebel the outside. Sugar Freak kicking in the straight. And Sugar Freak gets home. Barefoot Rebel second. Third went to Crackerjack lock in behind them under study. Further back then was Myola Queen. Uh, further back then came Shims Hard Velocity Cleo. 29 and 90 odd the race time with splits of 4.42 and 17.17. And the winner here will be number four, Sugar Freak. Over number five, Barefoot Rebel. And it should be the two for third, Crackerjack lock. So four, Sugar Freak takes it out. And uh, this uh, Greyhound, number four, Sugar Freak, Black Bitch, March 20 by Barcia Bale from R Sugar Sugar. Career win six now from 49 starts. The Wannabe Syndicate manager, Pete Stevens, the owners, and uh, Peter Franklin is the winning trainer. Second placing going to number five, Barefoot Rebel for trainer Tony Henriksen. And third in to number two, Crackerjack Lock for Paul Hammerstein. Officially fourth, the one understudy. So four, five, two, one, twenty nine, ninety three. The race time recorded, and the winner scored by two lengths, with the margin between second and third about to come up. Repeating four forty two and uh, seventeen seventeen. The splits, and it was uh, two by two and a quarter. Those margins, two by two and a quarter.